Good happy Friday evening, November 20, 2020. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this Friday evening edition of The News with Riley King. Let's begin. First up, we begin with John Hopkins University and Medicine COVID-19 dashboard. Let's take a look at that right now. And let's take a look at that for all of you right now. As you can see, global cases, 57,379,111. Uh, U.S. cases, 11,859,825. Global deaths, 1,369,023. U.S. deaths, 253,943. And that's a look at your John Hopkins University COVID-19 dashboard. Now let's get to some other news. Multiple injured in an active shooter incident at Wisconsin's Mayfair Mall, Mayor says. The preparatory is at the preparatory is at large, the mayor. Multiple people were injured in a shooting at Mayfield Mall in Wittos, Wisconsin on Friday, a local mayor said. None of the victims' injuries appear to be life-threatening and they are being taken to the hospital, the mayor said. The predator is at large, the mayor said. And here are some photos from that scene. As you can see, a shooting at the mall in Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We will keep you updated as we get more information into our newsroom. Donald Trump Jr. tests positive for COVID-19. Donald Trump Jr is the second of the president's children to test positive. Donald Trump Jr. has tested positive for COVID-19. The president's eldest son is the second of his children to test positive for the virus following Barron Trump's diagnosis last month. Trump makes late-term bid to lower prescription drug costs. President Donald Trump's administration is trying to close out major unfinished business on lowering prescription drug costs. Biden adds Obama administration veteran to top staff. President-elect Joe Biden is adding four Obama administration veterans to his top ranks as he continues to build out his White House team. And now let's take a look at that U.S. stock market and see how your U.S. stock market closed for this Friday evening. And here's a check of that U.S. stock market for all of you for this Friday evening. Your Dow Jones Industrial Average closed in the red and went down. Your Nasdaq closed in the red and went down. S&P 500 closed in the red and went down. Gold closed in the green and went up. Oil closed in the green and went up. U.S. 10 year closed flat. Your Arthash USD closed in the red and went down, and the AX closed in the green and went up. And we're going to switch gears now, and let's take a look at your weather for tonight. And here is a check of the weather across the United States this evening. In Boston, it'll be 47 degrees with a moon and clouds. In New York City, it'll be 48 degrees with moon and stars. Washington, D.C., 45 degrees with moon and clouds. Atlanta, 42 degrees with moon and stars. Jacksonville, Florida, 63 degrees with rain. Tampa Bay, Florida, 65 degrees with moon and clouds. Miami, Florida, 73 degrees with rain. Dallas, Texas, 62 degrees with moon and clouds. Las Vegas, 52 degrees with moon and clouds. Phoenix, 60 degrees with moon and clouds. Los Angeles, 53 degrees with moon and clouds. And San Francisco, 44 degrees with moon and clouds. 
And that is a look at your weather across the United States this evening. And that does it for this evening edition of The News with Riley King. Thank you for watching this evening edition of The News with Riley King. Have a great rest of your Friday evening. I'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of The News with Riley King. Good night and goodbye, everyone.